What's up, YouTube? I got that gameplay for you. All right, guys. Quick little video for y'all. Um, this video is gonna be on pulsers. Uh, you never know when you need a pulser. Um, like I said before, I was playing with Redneck on a Skyblock, and uh, I haven't been in my world all day. I've actually been in Redneck Skyblock for probably five or six hours today. Um, mining cobblestone, you know, just hooking him up, helping him out, and uh, this is what it's on. You know, we needed a pulser for cobblestone generator, and I could not figure it out to save my life. Um, the other clock that I have, which, you know, pulser is a clock, um, is on my sand generator. Now, this one is bigger. Like, this is bulky as hell, and like, as you can see, it's already burnt out, so we'll restart it real quick. Actually, it's going to take a torch. What am I doing at redstone? Um, we will do this one right here. We'll break the circuit, pop in another torch, and kick it back up. And it starts up for you. And there you go. There's your your pulser, your clock, your ticker, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then, you know, you can just sit here and mine your cobblestone all day. And it's just going to kick it out towards you. Pretty simple, huh? Like, very easy to build, but I'm not going to show you how to build this one because this one is a waste of resources. This is a lot of unnecessary redstone. Um, you do not need all this redstone to do this, to get this, you know, to happen. So, this one over here is a lot smaller, and I think I showed you guys this last night in the video. Um, but this one is burnt out as well. They do burn out. Um, very simple, two blocks on the ground torch on each side torch on each side on this on this side of the block so just put four torches total on both sides and then two things of redstone on top so we'll get rid of that right there um, and see it kicks back off because I broke the redstone circuit from this which that is kinda weird because I should have had to have broke that redstone but hey whatever um, it kicks up again and that's how you restart it once they burn out oh it burned out okay so I do have to replace it really quickly there we go and it's going again and you can connect it to whatever you want to connect it to see and see this one is really fast I do believe this is the fastest you can get redstone to tick um, without burning itself out like instantly you know like uh, whenever you're you're trying to wire up a door or something and you put your redstone in and it flashes like that and then it just stops it's because you know the circuits broke there's nowhere for it to go there's nowhere to send the current so it just it burns itself out um, but this is another one, you know, just cobblestone generator, your sand generator, whatever you want to use it for. But this one is really fucking fast. It just, it ticks so quick. It's like, God, you know, it's pushing that piston hard. <laughs> um, and over here is something else that come off of this one. I was like, you know, you don't need all this damn redstone, so let's goof off with it. And I just did this playing around, and it works. So there's another one. Um very simple very simple it's just uh, kinda like your inverter like you were doing an inverter and it's just uh, five of them it's a little five clock pretty much um, little ticker you can add you know whatever you want if you want to add redstone on this side coming off add your piston right here you know you want to do it on say this side now you can do it right here you can add a piston here and over there so you can get different times of whenever you want it to tick or whatnot um, and this one is Rednecks. Uh, this is what he built in his world on his seed one. By the time that I got back the next day to build one of these, he had this going. So I was like, oh, okay, sweet. Um, so it's very compact, really small. Um, all it is is a block, torch on the side of the block, and uh, two repeaters down. This repeater will be on the, the last full tick, so put it on four. Um, and this one is just set on one. So one tick, one tick. And then you just connect the redstone to the end of the repeater and run it into the side of the block. And there you go. And that's the same damn thing. Um, you know, if you want to run it off this way, you can do that. You want to run it up this way, you can do that as well. So you can run it off multiple directions. Um, whatever you're, you're needing it for, whether it be like in my sand generator tutorial. Um, some of you guys were saying you had trouble with the clock, getting it started, which it is a bitch to get started sometimes. So you can substitute one of these for the one I've got in that video. Um, you can go back and watch that video and just put one of these clocks in there, one of these tickers, 
and run the redstone up the side of the wall to your pistons and you'll have the same effect you know the same thing just a lot easier for you guys to understand but like this one here oh fuck i'll build it real quick um do i have cobblestone i got pissed off a minute ago because i built something else i'm gonna show you and i fell in fucking lava and i died so yeah <laughs> pissed me off so you put a block down torch one away from the torch you put down redstone another block oh damn it not on top put it on the side right there right in front just keep it going front to back front to back more redstone we'll loop this one around into this block red uh, another redstone torch keep going put your redstone down another block another torch one away from the torch again connect up your redstone everything is good I'm gonna run out of room here just keep it going like that I do not have any dirt do I have any dirt I'll just have to use cobble so cobblestone like that and now we're gonna run the redstone into the back of that block and see it starts ticking so like this one is powered it stays on which runs into this block which turns this torch off which runs into this block turns it back on turns it off back on and then back around to the original circuit that you started so it just keeps it going um, you know like if it ever burns out just break a torch throw the torch back on there and it'll kick it right back on so it's very easy these are the two simplest ones um, well actually that one over there is the simplest um, this one you know you gotta have resources to build your repeaters um, this one's just blocks redstone and torches same thing as that one over there blocks redstone and torches so it's really simple so it's three easy ones for you guys to use like I think I'm gonna use this one in my lighthouse I'm gonna build a proper lighthouse and like as you can see let me get some glowstone put glowstone up there and uh, it's like this is just something you can use it for see like it's just ticks you know like so it'll push my light up in the air and then you know it'll go back down so it'd be nice for the lighthouse I think I'm gonna wire up like four five six of these you know in a lighthouse and just push the light that way it would be a lighthouse oh that's cool it like stretches it you see that shit that was cool all right so let's break that but yeah that's what you can use it for sand generator cobblestone generator um, you know your lighthouse you never know when you might need one of these um, they come in handy but let's go over here um, to a secret door uh, like the combination lock yesterday you know it kinda stands out you know it's there people know it's there the the levers are there they're like you know hey there's a fucking door there somewhere Ooh, you can see the piston I think that's some shit we gotta cover that up now I gotta get my dirt let's see your dirt where my dirt where my dirt I already had a piece of dirt there cover that damn piston up alright so this would be your secret door um, you get a sign let's throw a sign down and we are gonna write uh... let's write trash on it because this is what it will be trash you tell everybody this is where the trash is if you got something you don't want you know like right outside of your main little village um, there's the trash chute you can come over here you can uh... throw whatever you want to throw away like i'll throw away the damn seeds because i've got a boatload toss seeds in there that's the trash now you can't see anything like you're moving your mouse around there's nothing back there all it says is mine you know like we're gonna mine the dirt or you know fill in but if you know where exactly where it's at which I think I remember where it's at so well that did not work hold up here we go one more time no no I'm failing for you guys come on there we go and you know how to get in so as long as you know where your minecart's at been a while since I jumped on I've been AFK but uh if you know where your minecarts at you can get through that everybody else will be like you know it's trash you come over here throw the trash in as long as they don't know where that's at they're gonna have to get really close to this lava and if they do they're gonna step off the pressure plate the door is gonna close and it's gonna push them back out so you know they're gonna be looking for shit and they're not gonna be able to find it so this you know who else is gonna think you know that's the trash that's what I got it there for damn it who doesn't have trash you know I've got lava streams all over the place to dump stuff that I don't want that you know if I'm in my mob traps or whatever and my inventory's full or I've been out mining and I've got stuff that I don't want to put in my chest I've got lava somewhere that I can dump my shit in 
So this is the little secret room that you can have. You can have some chests back here, do whatever you got to do, and then have a secondary exit. So you don't have to go back out there where there's not another minecart out there. And people are like, why the hell is minecart here? Um, so just make you a little secondary exit somewhere. You know, with a, a single door that's like in the mountain or some shit where it looks like the mountain. Um, this one was actually dug down. So, yeah, you can like put it on the side of your fucking mountain. That's where it should be. Um, the door pretty much, I'm not going to show you how to build it. I've already showed you how to build the door twice. Um, it's just the same design with lava dumped at the top and it just flows down. So, you know, it's the same design except going two down. You just go three down. It's, it's not that hard of a concept to get. So, I mean, you guys should know that. Um, it's the same door. If you, if you need to know how to build it, if you're new, um, all the rest of you guys have already seen me build it twice. Uh, go to my piston door tutorial and it will teach you how to build just the basic doors that I've got in my nether base. It's just a simple piston double door. Um, but, and like this is the same general thing, piston door, just not a double door. It's a single door. And it closes behind you. Looks like it's part of the mountain, and there's no way in through here, so, you know, if anybody comes here. It would be built somewhere where, you know, you've got houses and you got shit around, so you're like, you know, don't dig around my stuff. Don't don't build on top of my stuff. I've got redstone in my walls. You know, you're going to mess some shit up. Don't dig there. So no one's going to dig there. That's the trash. You go here to dump your trash. No one's going to think anything else, because I've actually had people try to follow me through these, and they just burn to death, and they're like, how the hell are you getting through that? So yeah, really simple, easy, nice little secret door for you guys if you need one in wherever you might need it. So like even if it's in your house, you know, like this is the trash in my house. Throw your shit in here and if anybody don't want to use that, they're just not going to use that. So they'll they'll never go to it anyway. So yeah, just a couple of pulsers for you guys. A little secret door for y'all, but I'm about to go jump on zombies and I am fucking sick. So, I don't know how long I'm going to last. I got a bottle of NyQuil sitting here next to me. You know, my kids went back to school. So, first week of school, you know, they come back and they uh, mingle with all these other kids that are digging in their noses. And, you know, they bring the Ebola virus home. So, it's like hell for me for the first month. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to sit here and sip on some damn NyQuil and Jolly Ranchers and hopefully pass the fuck out so I can get some sleep. Hopefully, I feel better tomorrow, but, yeah. I'm going to jump on zombies and bust some zombie heads. Might be live streaming. I don't know. But uh, I'll be putting this up in the morning. So it really doesn't matter if I'm live streaming. Huh, retard? Damn. All right. Well, anyways, if the door has helped you out, if you do need a pulser, if not, even if you don't need a pulser, remember how to build it, damn it. Because you never know when you're going to need one like me and Redneck needed one. So uh, if you like the door, if you like the little secret room, give it a like, man. It's always appreciated. Um, but if not, you know, hey, do what you do. You don't ever have to like it. But uh, you know the deal. So peace and take it easy.